Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, the first figure of this year, we're going to be doing the female Tuscan Raider. I don't think she has a name. At least when I looked up online I couldn't find one. So for this, we're going to be using a dark grey figure. And the kit I've got here is from CB Prints 3D on Etsy. Let me just open it up. I've done this with camera. And let's see what it consists of. So you get the kind of the belt and whatever that thing is. Get a gaffy stick or something, I think it's called. You get the arm braces and kind of whatever uh, that thing is there, I don't know, I'll get them out in a minute. Oh, you get a spare head. And the main head and that bit what goes over the body. Probably that way, I would have thought. Anything else in there? Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, uh, I'll get a picture up of the vintage figure. And I'm basically going to copy it. It should be quite an easy, easy custom. This one it shouldn't take too long because I don't think there's no painting really involved because all this is black already. Yeah, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go off. I might just give it a light rub down. And give it a prime coat of grey, I think, first, because that's what my primer is, is grey. So I'm going to go off and do that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use do that head. Uh, no, I won't use that. Alright, so I'll be back in about, well, in seconds for you. Okay, so I've left them, leaving them to dry them bits from uh, CB Prints. 3D. Uh, so now I'm going to go boil and pop this. So I've got my hot water already. So I'm going to stick her in there for about um, probably about a minute. Boil and pop her head and her waist. Uh, I don't feel I'd bother taking the hands off because they just need a little coat of black anyway. So so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave them for about a minute, and I'll be back to you. Okay, that's been about a minute. Get her out, give her a little shake. Dry her off. And hopefully I should all come off. Okay, that's good. And just want her head off really. And that bit there got glued. Oh, that's hot. I think we can lose this cloak bit as well, which doesn't want to come off too easily. Oh, there's little. Oops. So they've got little bits here, which I might have to cut off. That's really hard. on top. Oh, there you go. why they've done that just for a cloak and a little hood mind you it did work I suppose it did kind of yeah anyway anyway that's bald and popped so I'm going to get a standing knife cut these little bits off what I don't need on the back and I'll be back might as well do it on film that way you see me cut my fingers if That's actually quite hard. That's quite hard plastic, that. <clears throat> right. 
I need a new blade. I'll be back. Okay, got a new blade on it. Notice I'm cutting away from my fingers so I don't slice my fingers off. Famous last words. Crush the mind, that's been the hard days. Right, I'm going to get some snips. Let's try these. Because I think we'll break it off. There you go. That's got the most of it off, and that one on the shoulder. I do. I might just get the Stanley just to tidy it up a bit. for now I think Open that. okay anyway that's all boiled and popped so these are the bits we're going to be using and when the uh, 3d printed bits are dry I'll bring them out and see how they fit before we give them a black coat what's happened to my light Okay, so everything is primed now. I'm just going to make sure it all fits together, sort of. So, let's just make sure it all goes on without needing to... No, that looks good. And that will go around the waist. That goes straight on. Pretty much. So I've got a bit of a bit of snot there that I didn't remove, but apart from that, that should go on. So that's good. Uh, the arms, oh, I should have I should have took the hands off. I wonder if I can pull them off or oh, I can as well. Just got them off in time, must have been still a bit hot. So they go straight over. Is there a left and right, or I think they're both the same? I'm not too sure about them actually. Are they gonna? Oh no, they should be okay. I think they're going to be all right. although there, there's a bit of difference I don't know if you can let me get so I'm not using a so there's about five mil these stick out further than the wrist but I'm thinking that the holes big enough for the hands to fit in a bit more anyway so they're just shrinking and into it a bit so they should be okay so I don't need I don't think I need to do any trimming or anything with the with these uh, arm bands or whatever you want to call them and then what else is there? So that, the head obviously. I'm just going to do this off camera because it's easier. Just got to get the, the white tack out. Okay, so I've got the, the white tack out pretty much. I didn't really need to in the end actually, but anyway, so I guess that goes over like that I think, over the neck. And then that goes on top. So I need, actually need to put some blue tail or whatever in there to keep the head. It's not going to be very articulated, obviously. but So yeah, I think we're all ready to get painting, really. Something else, is there? Obviously that and that's a separate piece, isn't it? That's like, that's like the bowl that holds that water or whatever it was. I think it was water. And then obviously Gaffy stick. Uh, yeah, so... 
I'm going to go give this all a coat of black now then. A spray of black and I'll be back. Okay, so I've just gave them a coat of uh, matte black. So I figure, well, I'm not going to do that head. I've just gave it a, a primer and that's it. Because I don't need that one. Might use it for something later or something, I don't know. Anyway, I figure I might as well give this a coat of... Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm following the vintage figure what uh, Hasbro brought out. So I've got a picture of the gaffy stick in it. says it's brown and then silver on that tip there. Just on the middle bit here, silver. So I'm going to give that a quick coat of brown and silver. And this little pot, I think it's brown, wasn't it? This little uh, like cup thing. I might just look online because obviously the vintage one doesn't come with this, does it? So, at least I don't think it does. I can't see it in any of the pictures. So I'm just looking on, on a Jedi Business website just to follow the the vintage collection uh, figure of the same thing I'm doing here. I uh, don't think it comes with a cup. Anyway, I think it is brown, so I'm going to paint that brown as well. Anyway. Okay, that's all. Um, had a coat of black on it now. The only one thing is I will say is it's supposed to be matte, but that's more like satin black than matte black. But anyway, I can put a black wash over it later. I was going to do that anyway, so it should be okay. So next I'm going to do get the sand colour. What am I using? Valero Des Desert Sand. And just do his face and a few other bits. What I need doing, let me just look at the photo. So his face, what else is it? His neck. And I think this some of this here needs a sand on it as well. I'm not too sure actually. I'll look at a different picture. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on do his face and his neck. Okay, so I've just uh, given that the head a bit of a sand. I've put a bit of black in it just to dull it down a bit. That sand, that, what is it called again? Valero yellow sand. Yellow, sorry, Valero, what is it called? Desert sand. So I've put a little bit of black in it just to dull it down a bit. And I've done his, obviously his face, which obviously needs detailing still with our colours and stuff around his neck piece there and I've done a bit around the actual neck just in case it shows through anywhere I might give it another coat in a minute and also done his feet now he's probably supposed to be like all of his legs but I mean you're not going to see it so I've, I didn't bother doing it well, I've just done his bottom bit of his feet that's it anyway I'm going to leave him to dry for a little bit I didn't bother doing this but because I looked on it and the vintage one what I'm following isn't the the design isn't exactly the same, so there's no point in me trying to copy the colours when the the pattern's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Just I'll probably get a pen and dot little different colours, and then wash it off, wash it over after to make it blend in. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that to dry for now. Okay, actually while I'm waiting. I might as well do this belt. There's a little belt that's black around this piece here. Oh no, sorry, it's brown. I mean, so I might as well uh, paint that, paint that in. So yeah, uh, again, I've got a uh, Valero brown for that to, to do that. Okay, I've just painted the belt now brown. Obviously, I've got, I've got a little bit of some detail to do on that a bit later when it's dried. So next, I will be doing. Let's do this little square patch here it needs to be painted red. So I'm going to go off and do that. Okay, so I painted that in red. It's a gloss red because I haven't got no matte red, but I can matte it down later. And I've also decided to do this in a sand colour at the moment. And like I say, all I've got to do is put some detail on it, dot, dot some different kind of whites and... Maybe a bit of silver on a few of them and all that. 
So I'll probably be doing that next it's dry now. I've got to put a bit of silver on his face around his eyes and stuff. So I'll leave that to the side. <coughs> I've, done, I've done his shoes, I think you should have seen that already. That's all done. That's done. Uh, and this, whatever this thing is, like, uh, I think it's over, like some kind of breathing apparatus in it or something like that. Uh, I think that's going to be painted, I'm going to paint that silver. And then I think a bit of sand in the middle. So that's got to be done. And that's done, so that's it. So next I'm going to get, get, do these last three bits. And then we'll start putting it together. Okay, everything's all painted now. So, and I've um, given it a bit of a wash and I've sealed it as well with a, a matte sealer. So that's done, the face. <clears throat> so I'll just use the silver pen to do the silver bits and the rest of this painted with a small brush. And this bit here. This is not probably 100% accurate to the to the program, uh, book of bug effect, but I mean, it's good enough, I think. And this bit here, the breathing apparatus or whatever it is, silver, and then kind of a darkish sand around the edge. And the bottle bit or whatever it is. And these bits you've already seen. So that's it. So all we've got to do now is put it all together. And that will be it. Okay, all done. Obviously I've got to put a bit of blue tack under the head, in the head, just to hold it down properly, but there we go, we're all done. So that is that for this one. Turn that alright really, isn't it? I wonder if Hasbro will even do this, I hope it, they do really, but even though I've got one now. And there's his gaffy stick, her gaffy stick, I mean, sorry. That's going around, but I can't be bored at the moment. I'm going to let all this like real settle in dry overnight, and I'll start messing around with it and put it and in the morning. I'll put it in with the rest of the sand people. Okay, if I can find space, she is in her diorama, female Tostamoria, along with uh. The Chieftain, Boba Fett, and a couple of standard Sandmen, and of course the uh, hot number them around the dogs are called. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Latest.